The mission to colonizing the moon, building humanity's first lunar outpost. Hello everyone, welcome to Space Explorer Channel. For centuries, humans have gazed at the glowing orb in the night sky, dreaming of one day setting foot on its surface. And now, that dream is closer to becoming a reality than ever before. With advancements in technology and space exploration, the mission to colonize the moon and build humanity's first lunar outpost is well underway. This ambitious endeavor not only holds the promise of expanding our understanding of the universe, but also has the potential to open up a new chapter in human history. We will delve into the details of this extraordinary mission and explore the exciting possibilities that lie ahead for humanity's future on the moon. Before moving forward, if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future interesting videos. Understanding the rationale behind lunar colonization. Think of the moon as more than just our celestial next door neighbor. Picture it as a stepping stone to the vast expanse of the cosmos. The aim of lunar colonization isn't just about flexing our technological muscles or winning a new age space race. It's far more profound and practical than that. Imagine the moon as a space station, a convenient pit stop for astronauts embarking on long-haul voyages to Mars and beyond, a place to rest, refuel, and resupply before venturing further into the unknown. A lunar outpost would serve as a vital springboard for deeper space missions, turning science fiction into scientific fact. But the moon is more than just a layover. It's a treasure trove of untapped resources waiting to be harvested. One of the most intriguing of these is helium-3, a potential fuel for nuclear fusion. Could the moon be the key to unlocking a new, clean, almost limitless energy source for our planet? The possibility is too tantalizing to ignore. Moreover, a moon base provides a unique vantage point to observe and understand the long-term effects of reduced gravity on human health. Such information could be invaluable for preparing astronauts for the physical rigors of extended space travel. In essence, the vision for lunar colonization is not about claiming territory. It's about advancing human knowledge, improving life on Earth, and pushing the boundaries of what we believe is possible. It's a testament to our unquenchable thirst for exploration and our insatiable curiosity about the universe. That's the real drive behind our mission to colonize the moon. But this is no easy feat. It's a challenge that will test our scientific, technological, and logistical capabilities to their very limits, paving the way for new discoveries and technological breakthroughs. Nonetheless, achieving lunar colonization is a daunting task, demanding a Herculean effort from humanity's collective scientific, technological, and logistical strengths. This colossal challenge, capable of pushing the boundaries of human capacity to unprecedented extremes, may be the catalyst needed to inspire fresh innovations and technological advancements that could rewrite our understanding of the universe and ourselves. Indeed, embracing this endeavor could lead to a surge in scientific progress, much like the technological leaps sparked by the original space race. Each step taken towards moon colonization can potentially propel us into a new era of discovery and technological mastery. Embracing such a formidable goal could transform our perspective, instigating a new respect for the complexities and wonders of our cosmos. It challenges us to rise beyond what we perceive as our limits, harnessing the best of our creative and explorative abilities for the advancement of humanity. Yet, embarking on this grand odyssey requires not only technological innovation, but also cooperation and unity on a global scale. Harnessing our collective intellectual resources could significantly accelerate progress towards making lunar colonization a reality. This collaboration not only advances our lunar pursuits, but also encourages solidarity and collective effort, an aspect which transcends scientific innovation. A unified front, comprising various nations, could represent the manifestation of humanity's shared goal of cosmic exploration and understanding. Indeed, the lunar colonization effort may serve as a symbol of human unity and collective ambition, paving the way for a new chapter in international collaboration and a broader shared vision for the future. Indeed, lunar colonization transcends borders and disputes. 
it could be an emblem of international unity and shared ambition. The Roadmap to a Lunar Outpost Planning our lunar address isn't as simple as picking a nice neighborhood and building a house. Establishing a base on the moon is a multi-step marathon, not a sprint. Firstly, we need to send unmanned robotic missions to the moon, mapping its diverse terrain and meticulously identifying the most suitable spot for our outpost. Picture the lunar surface brimming with robotic explorers, diligently scanning the surface for the perfect location that offers access to resources and a safe environment. Once we've nailed the perfect spot, it's time to construct the fundamental infrastructure. This isn't just about building habitation modules where astronauts can live and work. We're talking about full-fledged resource extraction equipment that can mine the moon's treasure chest of minerals and a self-sufficient energy generation unit that ensures our lunar residents always have the power they need. Parallel to this, we can't forget the commute. Spacecraft design will also need significant advancement. We need reliable and reusable lunar shuttles that can ferry astronauts and supplies between Earth and the Moon, forming a constant link between our home planet and our celestial outpost. This roadmap is indeed daunting, but each step brings us closer to transforming the dream of a lunar outpost into a concrete reality. And remember, each achievement on this path doesn't just bring us one step closer to the Moon. It brings the entire cosmos one step closer to us. As we venture deeper into space, we inch closer to unraveling its countless mysteries and broadening the horizons of our understanding. Thus, in essence, every leap we take on the moon serves a dual purpose, advancing our scientific knowledge while simultaneously pushing the boundaries of human capability and innovation. Our quest into the lunar landscape is two-pronged. Firstly, it aids in unmasking the enigmatic intricacies of the cosmos, thereby widening our intellectual breadth. Secondly, these strides compel us to stretch human potential, manifesting advancements in technological capability and innovation. The moon isn't just our destination, but a springboard to the larger cosmos. From the moon, we may be able to jump even further into space, to Mars and beyond. Establishing a lunar base sets the stage for these monumental expeditions, making previously unimaginable interstellar travel a tangible possibility. This pioneering endeavor not only redefines the realms of possibility, but also propels us into a future where humans become a multi-planetary species. Thus, as we gaze up at the moon tonight, let us see it not just as a celestial neighbor, but as the threshold to the cosmos awaiting our arrival. Embarking on this pioneering quest of lunar colonization propels us towards a previously unthinkable reality, becoming an interstellar species. By carving out a slice of the cosmos as our second home, we push the boundary of what's possible, forging ahead towards a future teeming with multi-planetary human colonies. Every glance at our luminescent celestial neighbor should remind us of the vast expanse of cosmos that lies unexplored. We stand on the precipice of a new era, with the moon as the gateway to a universe filled with boundless opportunities and ceaseless discovery. As we gear up for our lunar arrival, it signifies our commencement in our ambitious cosmic adventure. Challenges and Technological Hurdles Charting the path to our lunar outpost is akin to navigating through an obstacle course, a vast cosmic puzzle riddled with challenges and complexities. Our aspirations to make the moon our second home, while ambitious, are hindered by the unwelcoming lunar environment. With its extreme temperatures that range from boiling hot to freezing cold and the absence of an atmosphere to shield us, the moon is far from hospitable. Akin to how early explorers braved unfamiliar terrains on Earth, we too need to tackle the stark realities of reduced gravity. Long-term residency on the Moon will demand novel solutions to counter the adverse impacts of diminished gravity on human health. We need to investigate and devise strategies to protect our lunar inhabitants from the ubiquitous cosmic radiation, another daunting hurdle we must overcome to ensure their survival and well-being. Beyond the human element, the technology required to make lunar colonization, a reality is yet another labyrinth we must navigate. Precision landing a critical component of successful moon missions 
requires mastering an unprecedented level of accuracy and control. Additionally, our lunar rovers will need to be hardy and versatile, able to traverse the harsh and diverse terrain of the lunar surface, assisting in everything from exploration to resource gathering. Perhaps the biggest challenge is learning to be self-reliant in an alien world. We need to perfect in situ resource utilization, essentially becoming proficient at living off the lunar land. Imagine having to harvest water from lunar soil or extract oxygen from lunar rocks, an essential skill to master if we are to sustain life on the moon. While these obstacles may seem daunting, they also represent opportunities to innovate and push the boundaries of technology. Each challenge we overcome brings us closer to understanding our universe and our place within it. Our quest to colonize the moon, while fraught with difficulties, fuels our unwavering spirit of exploration, discovery, and human resilience. As we step forward in our mission, we confront these hurdles, not as barriers, but as catalysts to propel us further into the cosmic unknown. The lessons we learn from this expedition will not only shape our future on the moon, but also our broader understanding of survival and colonization in space. They will lay the groundwork for further exploration, paving the way to Mars and beyond. The lessons garnered from this audacious undertaking will have implications reaching far beyond our lunar aspirations. These findings will deepen our comprehension of how humans can survive and prosper in alien environments. The knowledge will serve as a solid foundation for extended space exploration and potentially pave the path to inhabiting Mars and other cosmic frontiers. This lunar expedition marks not only our endeavor to create a second home, but it is also the precursor to wider, deeper exploration of the cosmos, setting us on a trajectory of space colonization. As we inch closer to realizing our lunar dreams, we step closer to understanding and embracing the enormity of our potential as a species. Our journey is a testament to the human spirit and its endless pursuit of knowledge and progress. The Role of International Collaboration Building our first lunar outpost is an extraordinary endeavor that transcends individual ambitions, making it truly a mission for all of humanity. It's an unprecedented task that calls for an unprecedented level of international collaboration. The vast expertise, financial resources, and technological prowess required for this mission simply can't be shouldered by one nation alone. It's a cosmic challenge that demands a global response. The grand vision of a lunar outpost doesn't wear the colors of a single flag. It's a patchwork quilt woven from the collective efforts of nations around the globe. It's a common objective that unites us, a testament to what we can achieve when we pool our knowledge, share our resources, and combine our strengths. Various space agencies worldwide, from NASA in the United States to ESA in Europe, Roscosmos in Russia, and many others, are already engaging in discussions, sharing research, and contemplating joint missions to our celestial neighbor. They're weaving intricate tapestries of cooperation, knitting together the warp and weft of scientific knowledge and technical innovation. These collaborations are much more than a simple alliance of convenience. They embody a sense of shared destiny, a common purpose that transcends geographical boundaries and political differences. They are fostering an era of international camaraderie and cooperation, setting aside rivalries to reach for the stars together. However, cooperation doesn't stop at governmental or institutional level. Countless private companies and startups are joining the lunar mission, each bringing unique contributions to the table. From cutting-edge technology to pioneering ideas and abundant resources, their involvement enriches the collective pool of knowledge and expertise, propelling us closer to our lunar ambitions. Indeed, our journey to the moon is not a solitary one. It's a collected voyage that symbolizes the best of humanity's collaborative spirit. Together, we're crafting an epic narrative that will echo through the annals of human history, proving that when we unite in pursuit of a common goal, the sky is not the limit. Rather, it's the starting point of an extraordinary journey into the cosmos. As we traverse this uncharted territory, each milestone is a testament to the enduring spirit of curiosity and discovery. The outpost will serve as our first foothold in space, 
a precursor to greater ventures beyond the moon. Navigating through this uncharted realm, each accomplishment serves as a profound testament to our enduring curiosity and exploration spirit. The lunar outpost will represent our inaugural step into the vast expanse of space, setting the stage for future missions reaching beyond the moon's orbit. The future, transforming lunar outpost into a colony. Imagine a bustling cityscape with industries humming, agriculture thriving, and communities flourishing. But this isn't on Earth, it's on the moon. The ultimate vision for our lunar outpost is to evolve it into a full-fledged lunar colony. This means more than simply expanding the existing structures. It involves establishing a whole new world, creating a lunar ecosystem that mirrors life on Earth. Just like we've seen cities emerge and flourish in the most inhospitable environments on Earth, we envision a lunar colony thriving in the harsh lunar landscape. Our moon base will expand its boundaries, not just in terms of physical infrastructure, but also in terms of functionality. Think of lunar farming modules where astronauts can grow their food, giving us a fresh, sustainable food source right there on the moon. Picture industries processing lunar resources, turning raw materials into usable commodities and crucial life-supporting utilities. We're not just planning to live on the moon, we're planning to thrive there. Our moon base will evolve into an interstellar hub of economic activity. From mining operations extracting precious minerals to energy production facilities harnessing solar power or lunar helium-3, our lunar colony will be buzzing with industry. The development of this lunar economy is a key step in our outpost's transformation. It's not just about survival, but about sustainability. It's about creating an economically viable colony that can support its inhabitants, grow, and even prosper. This vision of a lunar colony isn't just an exciting prospect, it's a tangible goal that's shaping our current missions and strategies. Every step we take, every challenge we overcome, Every technology we develop brings us one step closer to this vision. As we stand on the brink of becoming a multi-planetary species, we're not just reaching for the moon, we're preparing to make it our second home. This dream, once a fantasy of science fiction, is now gradually shaping into reality as we continue to break new ground in space exploration. With advancements in technology and space travel, we are now closer than ever to realizing this vision of a self-sustaining lunar colony. Our seemingly fantastical aspirations of transforming the moon into a thriving settlement are gradually crystallizing into reality as the fields of space exploration and technology continue to break new frontiers. We now stand at an unprecedented threshold in history, where the concept of a self-sustaining lunar habitat is no longer an abstract idea, but a concrete goal we are incrementally approaching with every satellite launched, every space mission undertaken, and every innovative space technology engineered. As we march on this quest, we are not just attempting to survive on our moon. Instead, we are devising strategies and technologies to help us flourish and carve out a second home in the cold expanse of space. Thus, every scientific expedition, Every piece of technological innovation we harness is not merely for the quest of knowledge, but the preservation and extension of human life and cosmos. A lunar colony signifies more than a technical triumph. It symbolizes our potential as a species to adapt, thrive, and broaden our horizon beyond our blue planet. The audacious ambition of colonizing the moon amplifies our collective yearning for discovery underscoring the significance of not only reaching for the stars, but also creating sustainable habitats within them. This effort to transform a seemingly inhospitable lunar environment into a thriving outpost is a testament to human tenacity and ingenuity. Implications for Humanity and Space Exploration Planting our flag on the lunar surface signifies more than just an unprecedented technological triumph. It signals a monumental shift in our identity, transforming us from an earthbound species into cosmic voyagers with a home on another celestial body. This profound milestone would open a galaxy of possibilities and opportunities. Imagine lunar holidays, giving travelers a chance to literally walk in the footsteps of astronauts. Envision the moon as a bustling center of economic activity, 
with industries mining the lunar soil for precious resources, fueling a robust lunar economy. Imagine scientists using our lunar outpost as a living laboratory to unlock secrets of the cosmos, driving breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe. The ripple effects of such research could bring about technological advancements, improving life not just on the moon, but also back on Earth. But perhaps the most significant implication of a lunar outpost is its role as a launchpad for deeper space exploration. The moon, with its proximity and resources, could serve as our gateway to the cosmos. Our celestial outpost could act as a staging ground for missions to Mars, the outer planets, and beyond. The potential for new discoveries, for understanding our place in the cosmos, for venturing where no human has gone before, is truly breathtaking. A successful lunar colonization effort would, therefore, represent a giant leap not just for a nation, but for all of humanity. It is a leap that would propel us further into the stars, setting the stage for the next chapter of human exploration. As we embark on this thrilling journey, we're not just building an outpost on the moon. We're building a bridge to the cosmos and crafting a future where the term world expands beyond our blue planet to include our silvery neighbor in the sky. As we move forward in this grand cosmic narrative, we aren't merely reaching for the moon. We're reaching for the stars, charting a course for humanity's future in the universe. And as we chart this course, we not only dream but dare to change the narrative of what is possible for mankind. This journey to colonize the moon serves as the gateway to a wider universe waiting to be discovered. As we venture forward, we not only dream, but dare to redefine mankind's boundaries. Our journey to colonize the moon is not an endpoint, but a doorway opening to a wider universe waiting patiently to unveil its secrets. This isn't just exploration, but a metamorphosis enabling us to reshape our future and embrace what has hitherto been deemed impossible. Our determination to forge ahead and reach for the stars fuels us, proving that no cosmic entity is too far or impossible to conquer for humanity. This is the audacity of the human spirit, to not be limited by earthly confines, but instead seek out the wider cosmos with zeal. The possibilities are as limitless as the universe itself, waiting for us to traverse its uncharted realms. This could propel us into an era of unprecedented cosmic exploration, extending our reach and making the once unthinkable, thinkable. Who knows what wonders we may find as we embrace our cosmic destiny, transcending the terrestrial to tread the interstellar. In these depths of space, we may find resources that can fuel future technologies or even unearth evidence of extraterrestrial life. As we redefine what it means to be an explorer, the heavens are no longer the final frontier, but a new beginning. It is a canvas, vast and unblemished, beckoning us to inscribe our narrative among the stars. We're standing at the precipice of a grand cosmic age, ready to leap into the unknown and create an epic saga of interstellar exploration. An endeavor of this magnitude is capable of starting a new epoch of global cooperation building a common vision for humanity's future, informed by collective discovery, mutual goals, and boundless exploration. This ambitious undertaking might usher in an era where shared aspirations replace discord, fostering global camaraderie through common objectives and shared victories. In this shared pursuit, we would truly understand the magnitude of our potential, not as individuals or nations, but as a united humanity reaching for the stars. This journey of lunar colonization could become a profound unifying narrative, capturing the global imagination and fueling a renewed sense of wonder and optimism about our collective future. Conclusion Astronauts working on the lunar surface also could test advanced robotics, as well as a wide set of new technologies identified in the Lunar Surface Innovation Initiative, focusing on tech development in areas such as in-situ resource utilization, ISRU, and power systems. Rovers will carry a variety of instruments including ISRU experiments that will generate information on the availability and extraction of usable resources, egg, oxygen, and water. 
Advancing these technologies could enable the production of fuel, water, and slash or oxygen from local materials, enabling sustainable surface operations with decreasing supply needs from Earth. Another key difference between Apollo and Artemis will be the use of the Gateway in lunar orbit, built with commercial and international partners. The lunar outpost will serve as a command and control module for surface expeditions and an office and home for astronauts away from Earth. Operating autonomously when the crew is not present, it also will be a platform for new science and technology demonstrations around the Moon. Over time, NASA and its partners will enhance the Lunar Gateway's habitation capabilities and related life support systems. Adding a large volume deep space habitation element would allow astronauts to test capabilities around the Moon for long-duration deep space missions. While the goal of Apollo was to land the first humans on the Moon, the Artemis program will use the Moon as a testbed for crewed exploration farther into the solar system, beginning with Mars. This is America's Moon to Mars space exploration approach, a proposed multi-month split crew operation at the Gateway and on the lunar surface would test the agency's concept for a human mission to the Red Planet. For such a mission, NASA envisions a four-person crew traveling to the Gateway and living aboard the outpost for a multi-month stay to simulate the outbound trip to Mars. Later, two crew members would travel to the lunar surface and explore with the habitable mobility platform, while the remaining two astronauts stay aboard Gateway. The four crew members are later reunited aboard the lunar outpost for another multi-month stay, simulating the return trip to Earth. This mission would be the longest duration human deep space mission in history and would be the first operational test of the readiness of our deep space systems. The report also highlights a robotic return to the surface beginning next year for scientific discovery. The Moon is a natural laboratory to study planetary processes and evolution, and a platform from which to observe the universe. NASA will send dozens of new science instruments and technology demonstrations to the Moon with its Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. Some of these robotic precursors, including the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, or VIPER, will study the terrain and metal and ice resources at the Lunar South Pole. The Space Launch System Rocket, Orion Spacecraft, human landing systems, and modern spacesuits will round out the agency's deep space systems. As part of the Artemis II mission, the first human expedition back to the Moon will last approximately seven days. NASA plans to send Artemis generation astronauts on increasingly longer missions about once per year thereafter. With strong support in NASA, America and its partners will test new technologies and reduce exploration costs over time. Supporting infrastructure including power, radiation shielding, a landing pad, as well as waste disposal and storage could be built up in the coming decades too. The U.S. is still the only nation to have successfully landed humans on the Moon and spacecraft on the surface of Mars, the report states. As other nations increasingly move out into space, American leadership is now called for to lead the next phase of humanity's quest to open up the future to endless discovery and growth. If you enjoyed from this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future interesting videos. Thanks for watching.